Practice set 22, problem number 23. In this equation, x is being multiplied by a fraction. Probably the best procedure, and involving only one step, is to multiply both sides of the equation by its reciprocal. The reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 halves. And because it's a negative and we want a positive variable, I'm going to make that 5 halves a negative 5 halves. What I do to one side, I need to do to the other side. So both sides are being multiplied by negative 5 halves. As I previously said, a negative times a negative is positive. The 5 in the numerator cancels out the 5 in the denominator, leaving a 1. The 2 in the numerator and the 2 in the denominator cancel out, leaving 1. 1 times x is x. And to simplify on the right-hand side, that whole number, 14, is understood to have a denominator of 1. I'm multiplying then these two fractions together. If I can reduce ahead of time, it's going to make it easier for the calculation. And in this case, 2 and 14 have a common factor of 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Leaving us with 7 times negative 5 in the numerator, resulting in negative 35. 1 times 1 is 1 in the denominator. Negative 35 divided by 1 leaves us with negative 35 for our solution. Problem number 25. The variable is being subtracted by the value of negative 4. Using our rule of subtraction, I'm going to change a minus sign into a plus, the opposite of what we have. So instead of a negative 4, it becomes a positive 4 is equal to 12. You can also think of this as minus a minus will result into a plus. Now, the only thing left to do is to counter or undo that addition of 4 by subtracting 4. Plus 4 minus 4 is 0, y plus 0 is y, and 12 minus 4 is 8. Our solution is 8.